Hola amigos, welcome back to today's video. Uh, this time I felt like I'm, I should do something else. So as you can see, this is a time lapse of a brand new City Skyline series, which is uh, I did the last time, which was in November last year, and I changed my style a freaking lot. Like you wouldn't believe that I changed my style completely so I hope this is going to be much better than it was uh, in the last series so this series is all about uh, again an American city which is very different than a typical American city it does have its features but it also has public transport so i would call this a semi-american city because it looks like an, an american city but it uh, isn't like it it has it is american city with european characteristics i would tell it like that now uh, as you can see i'm building the old town which is all time, all time, like all time. There isn't parting or something like this. So another European characteristic: no freaking parking spaces anywhere. Just where it's possible without without demolishing a building. I also had to demolish these tracks because I have uh, plans for them to put them like uh, not. Uh, here, I first thought that we're going to be have a main street which is goes directly through the old town. But then I realized that I could make a sunken, uh, basically a sunken road, which would di redirect the uh, all the traffic uh, to that road and. I can then uh, upgrade it to a road with trams. So I felt like this is going to be a better idea, which will be which will be better for the residents of uh, the old town. Now, uh, here uh, I try to finish it the layout so somehow so it wouldn't feel like it's just cut off and here uh, we're finally um, doing it i first thought that i'm going to make it just one way uh, this uh, no, not one way i first thought that i'm going to make it in a style uh, where it's, it's just going to be this uh, two two lane road, uh, which is mostly just assigned to European cities, but n not really to American because you have so much lanes for freaking nothing. And yeah, here I tried to somehow do it so it wouldn't be so sharp. In terms of and here we have a bypass, which I think looks uh, very nice and realistic, because you always have bypasses, basically everywhere, <laughs> to, to those who want to just uh, turn right, do not go onto the roundabout and make the traffic even worse. Here. I uh, did those tracks I removed or I first thought that I'm going to make it in a uh, from a steam workshop but then I realized that I'll just use the vanilla ones because they aren't bad they are pretty good and stuff yeah here I put them a bit closer to the road so uh, I would have space for a way uh, which would be on land 
uh, and which would look more like it uh, where I will add fences during the next episode because I don't know why I added, uh, why I didn't add fences but I think it looks uh, way nicer with uh, the way on each side since it kind of separates the of those the buildings and the grid system from the sunken part. Hmm. Now I was thinking about uh, doing it to two lanes, uh, which I thought about right here. Uh, so I did did this to kind of. Uh, to just then upgrade it without any problems and I think this looks very very nice I mean just yeah uh, here is a tunnel uh, which should be directed to the port area where there will be uh, industry and stuff like that uh, and I I will have to redo the whole area because, well, yeah, just just look at it. It it just needs to be made different. <clears throat> now, here I expand the way a bit more, uh, and the tracks are going to go upwards, and I somehow try to do them to not have sharp angles and to be more friendly to the trains uh, just stuff like that play with those tracks a bit more here uh, there is another track which I'm uh, building like this which goes to the uh, one we were building earlier and it connects like this uh, and same thing here we have two tracks uh, which are directly next to each other uh, so i also then connected them uh, but first i needed to somehow fix this uh, thing where it was too uh it it had a really big slope and also i tried to make the tunnel not so not so bad looking uh, because if i just left it like it was then those tracks would uh, th those tracks would just uh, reveal the tunnel part of the ta of the tunnel which is just unacceptable now, uh, I expanded the grid a bit more by adding this. Uh, this was what's supposed then to be a river, just a river, like you have in Los Angeles, like that uh, <laughs> river canal thing. Yeah, this is the same, but at least there's going to be water and not just dried up like it is in LA and here I try to build a lake around which I will then build a really nice park which I think will be a really really peaceful park where people go to to just uh, to uh, just relieve release the, all the stress and stuff like that to feel like to feel good and stuff like that yeah here i <laughs> didn't realize that the thing that was the tunnel so i had to put it more underground to hide this awful part of the tunnel i don't know why i didn't use sloping but uh, well i just don't think sometimes that you just you just got to accept it sometimes i just don't think at all sometimes uh, but well, it happens. You just can't do anything with it. It just like it is. Hmm. 
here uh yeah i <laughs> i couldn't uh, couldn't get to the note to put the tracks higher so i had to <laughs> i had to put, put to the canal somewhere else to actually get to it and yeah here is the grid expanding i, I was talking about i was stupid <laughs> first <laughs> Uh, but then I realized that, uh, yeah, I just need to use bridges everywhere. It's just not like in Europe. The grid system is just something real else. Uh, yeah. So here are the track trams, like this. And we finish the grid by me being stupid again. And yeah, just like this, we finish the grid, so it feels more uh, like it you, it should be like this, and not just cut off somewhere and just put trees and stuff. It just doesn't doesn't feel. Uh, it it you just can't accept that you have just cut off the entire grid and just put some random trees in it. That's just not how it should how it works. It works in America, but like I'm trying to do. Europe meshed up in like America. <laughs> That's the whole point of this thing. It's America with European stuff and just plant like it it was European city with American buildings and the road system. That's all I want wanted to do. And I couldn't do more of an American thing to just the, of all of this but then i realized that it could be much better if i put the tracks in this space between the road and the highway which in my opinion it just feels much much better i mean if you do, if you don't agree i think your mind is just too american for it i try to make it less sharp and I feel I feel like I've done a great job. Here is the second one I I'm trying to do somehow. Uh, I don't know why I upgraded these things, but I did. So yeah. Uh, here is I don't know what what did I do and why, but like this just feels more cut up from the rest of the thing I don't know how i'm going to go with it but i mean you get to you have to cut it off somewhere so yeah it it's completely uh, differs from my idea to not cut the zone off because it looks real bad but i just have to go against my ideal sometimes it's just a natural thing uh, now here's this bridge of uh, the uh, subway tracks, which isn't really a subway because it's not underground, but uh, let's just go with it. I mean, I'm not going to really put it underground because if I want to do those uh, time-lapse uh, things where you just drive the subway bus tram or whatever in first person, then you just got to <laughs> make it look like you can see the whole city and you just can't put it all underground because then it will be really boring so yeah here i didn't realize i downloaded a bunch of assets for a <laughs> european city so i was like uh, going around many things that I just couldn't find the one I wanted, so I just went with uh, vanilla assets. Uh, this is supposed to be a, a, just a government building of the state because this is supposed to be the capital city of the state, which is by the sides and stuff. Here is me <laughs> wandering around the whole unique building things. <laughs> and as you can see, there, there, there are many European cathedrals, 
churches and stuff of that type so yeah uh, here are some American uh, services stuff yeah uh, some schools which I just didn't think it good uh, so I went by finally placing buildings uh, and I started off with these high ones uh, to like um, make it look more uh, like a downtown downtown thing like if have downtown and downtown like you know what I mean and just to put some higher buildings in there to just make it look better like yeah uh, here we are uh, facing these buildings which are kind of Brooklyn buildings uh, which I mean they look most American out of them all so uh, that's why I'm using them it's a really really good pack and I feel like this is the most American American building you can ever find except the suburban ones but as, as I said there are no free spaces just buildings no parking lots just on street parking parking that's all and nothing else so I had to sometimes just copy and paste all, sh all shit around it to just uh, to just make it all look good and stuff so yeah <laughs> so sometimes it, it feels like it was copied which yeah well it is in reality it also is copied sometimes in the American cities but because of those parking, parking lots uh, you just don't really see it being copy and paste but it is copy and paste like all american cities have some copy and paste stuff in it and it's infuriating me but i just go I, I just have to go with it there's nothing i can do with do about it so i went with a strategy that the center of the downtown is not copy paste and it's original and as you go far and far uh, when you go further and further from the main square it feels more and more copy and pasted and in future episodes i have uh, i'm going to place more of these so it's going to be even more there's just going to be one district which is going to be just full of those same copy and pasted buildings so it will feel like you are in fucking philadelphia it's just going to feel like that philadelphia baltimore they are the same with this stuff you just got to just google an image from baltimore for example and just you'll see how copy and pasted it is there's just downtown all down downtown which isn't copy and pasted it has some originality in it but as you go further and further from the old town and from the financial center you find more and more copy and pasted pasted buildings it just feels so freaking weird and the worst thing about it no one fucking cares about it and like i should finally say that i freaking hate copy and pasted stuff but in city skylines i don't have problem with making copy and pasted stuff because it's just see this you know when you try to do something realistic and not of your dreams then you just copy and paste it and go with it like yeah sure why not but when you are 
doing a city which you try to make it up your dreams and if you're trying to do a city which you will like if you would like to be in which would be your ideal city then at least for me i'm trying to make it look original and not copy and paste it that's just me i mean i should do a city where I would do it like I would in real life uh, do cities, which I'm trying, to, which I'm hoping to do because I'm trying to go in a career path of a you know, city panel, which is a pretty good job, I mean. But well, this is <laughs> this is it. I mean, just 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 look at it. It it's copy and paste the most part, but does some originality around the main score at least give me that <laughs> although here's some final detailing uh, trees and stuff uh, nothing special trees and as you could uh, see from the whole video yes i had it in spanish but well this is all from me i hope you will have a great day and goodbye and see ya in the next episode.